All right. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Let's do that again. Three, two, one, live. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Geeksy Creator Central. I'm your host, Arvind, and joining me is Vikram Parthen, CEO of Geeksy India. Today, we're, we're taking a small, um, think of it like, like throwback Thursday, if you will, right? And what we're doing is we're going back to basics in this episode. This episode, what we are looking to do, and Vikram is going to be guiding us, is to look at the Geeksy platform as a whole and see what are all the possible things that you can do with it and how to actually do these things. Now, of course, since the last time we uh, did this sort of a session, I think it was, um, I'm gonna say a good like three, four months ago, right? Uh, what's happened is we've, we've been hard at work releasing more and more improvements and you know making things work better and you know helping creators start monetizing their audience and start turning their passion to profit, right? So with that, uh, Vikram, I'm gonna request you to take the stage um, walk us through, like, you know, share your screen and walk us through what are all the different things that we can do on the Gixi platform. You can think of it as an onboarding itself, like if a new creator did come on board, what is it that they would see from the page to what are all the different buttons to uh, what are all the different things that we can do there. And uh, later on, we can also discuss a couple of uh, possible use cases, right? Like if I wanted to do this, how would I do that? And uh, any questions that pop up, we can answer as well. So Vikram. Over to you. Thank you so much. Um, not usually uh, the days when I uh, get to be at the center stage of this wonderful uh, weekly series, uh, but today I get my chance and I am going to be talking about how to use Geeksy very simply, right? So I'm uh, going to be sharing my screen. You can take a look at uh, how this whole thing is going to work. Um, just hold on. Let me look that up. Yeah, can you see my screen? Uh, yes, it is coming yeah. up. Yeah, all right. all right, great. So this is what you end up seeing when you actually log into Geeksy's platform, right? I'm actually using uh, the test application right now, but it's more or less the same as what's already there uh, on Geeksy.in. This is just to help you get familiar with, uh, you know, how the whole platform works. So if you are a creator, uh, this is the landing page that you will see first. Uh, you'll see something called join as a creator for free. Let's make that very, very clear. Everything on Geeksy is free. The only way we make money is when you make money, we take a 5% cut on transactions that happen on your profile. As simple as that. So you can click on join as a creator for free here, or you can click on that here, or you can also click on start now here, right? So. All of these things basically take you to the same place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show what a creator goes through the moment he clicks on join as a creator for free. Uh, this is, uh, you know, the form that you end up seeing a uh, bunch of things here that you can actually, uh, you know, fill very, very simple to fill. So let me start writing my name. I'll use some fictitious names to start with. I'll say Joe Hardy, uh, and I'm going to use a fictitious email address. Uh, because most of the email addresses that I have already used for test is already in use. Um, I'll talk about myself, my profession being I'm a guitar player, I'm a musician, and I play for rock and roll bands. It's important to talk about what exactly it is that you do, right? So even if it means that you're teaching uh, and you teach people the guitar, it's important to talk about it. You can say, hi, I also teach guitars. Right, and you could talk about whether you do Trinity College of Music uh, related exams, uh, teaching, or uh, anything else. You could talk about that. Right. Um, I'm going to enter my the Geeksy contact number, which is this, and I'm going to click on verify. The moment I click on verify, you get an OTP. I'm just waiting for the OTP to come. The moment it comes, I'm going to quickly. Uh, yeah, I have my OTP here. It's nine six zero one six nine. So let me write that. The OTP is now verified. At this point, I'll write a short bio about myself, right? So there are two different things. Uh, profession is where, sorry, so I got a little confused here. Your profession is where you say you are a musician, you're a guitar player, etc., uh, and teacher, right? And in the uh, other section, a short bio about yourself, you can write uh, history, right? About uh, what you have been doing, 
uh, what are you uh, currently up to uh, and what can people expect from you on Gixi, right? Now then, there are a couple of additions that we've done for new people. Uh, Charles may not have seen this when you got on board, but these two are new options and new uh, points that we've asked people to understand. So for me, I've got a decent sized audience and I've not yet monetized it. So I'll click on this. Uh, and then I'll say, I'll look at which of these tools uh, can I actually plan to use to monetize my audience, right? So I could use subscriptions. Um, I would want to do video courses. I would love to sell digital products. Uh, I could even do events now and then, right? And then I end up choosing a profile URL. My profile URL is basically like my Instagram handle or my Twitter handle or my LinkedIn handle or whatever it is, right? So in this case, it could be Joe. RD, so this is my unique URL. So this basically means that if somebody needs to find me, they just go to my Geeksy handle, which is geeksy.in forward slash Joe Hardy, right? Then I upload a picture. So I could upload any picture that I want. Um, ideally, I would look up. Um, this is something this. I want to see. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't really have pictures of myself, as you already know. So I'll upload a Geeksy picture. That's cool. Yeah, so then I will click on continue. The moment I click on continue, I have this nice little WhatsApp group that I can join. Yeah, uh, this is the WhatsApp group that uh, is already available for a lot of creators to join. Uh, Charles, you would have gotten emails also to join the WhatsApp group. Have you, are you a part of the WhatsApp group? No, 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 not yet. So today only you told me, so not yet, we'll see any link. All right, so I'm going to paste this in the Google Meet chat window. Please take it up and uh, join the WhatsApp group. Yeah. 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 Uh, just quickly going to copy paste it. Yeah, it's there on the chat window. Please uh, access it and do join us there. Yeah. Yes. All right, and then I click on continue, and then we have a passion to profit bootcamp here, right? This is where you learn how to actually make your creation scene happen, right? There are thirty steps here. Um, and this basically takes you through 30 different stages of how you can actually make money by putting in the hard work uh, and getting your passion out there at the forefront. Uh, you can click on continue. And the moment you click on continue, you are on your homepage. So we have just gone through the onboarding flow. It's very simple. It took us uh, under two to three minutes to actually do it. Uh, filled, filled in some very, very basic information. Um, and here we are. Now, this is your home page, right? Now, you would see a bunch of other creators putting out their posts here, right? So a lot of other creators are actually posting stuff. Uh, very quickly, uh, this is a common feed system that is available to everybody. It's a similar feed that you would see on Facebook or Instagram or on LinkedIn where people see feeds from all other people on the platform. And similarly here, you see uh, posts from all other people on the platform as well. When I say all other people, I'm in particular talking about all other Geeksy creators on the platform who are posting content, right? Um, at this point in time, you see three different buttons here. You see an ad product, you see configure subscriptions, and uh, you see a create post, you see a bunch of these things, right? So uh, the idea is to make sure that uh, you click on one of these three and get started. But before you even go there, uh, let me quickly take you through what your profile actually looks like after you filled it. Yeah. Uh, Arvind, any points that you would like to bring up until now? I Nothing yet. I think uh, you have been covering all of this. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to talk and you know just stress upon the fact that uh, two things, right? One is to share your Gixi profile, which yeah. we had uh, referred to earlier on during the onboarding as well. So in your yeah. case, it'll be Gixi.n slash Joe Hardy. Yeah. And the other one is the availability of additional resources that are there on the right-hand side of the screen. Absolutely. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Not no a problem. Just, uh, talking about sharing your Gixi profile on the top. Okay, okay. And I wanted to uh, reinforce that the kind of resources that we get uh, okay, on okay. Uh, the right hand side of the screen as well. Okay. See, actually, I filled up all the, my profile and uploaded my course also. I've uploaded a couple of my courses, wow. but uh, awesome. now yet to be sold out. Sure. So we will talk about mm -hmm. that as well. Uh, okay. I think you've added a couple of digital products, right, Charles? Yeah. Uh, you would yeah, have gone yeah. to this digital product and you would have added it. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So there is something called a video course. If you want to plan a course, you can actually use the video course. 
No right. video course only. I mean, I have recorded my video course of fifteen uh, minutes each. Yeah. So two type of courses I have uploaded uh, for a week before. Sure. So we will come to that as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I will take you to the dashboard very quickly for you to understand what exactly it is that uh, you know you are going to be doing here. So here you can actually add all your all of your other social media URLs as well. You can add your Twitter URL. Your YouTube URL, your Facebook, Instagram, and your LinkedIn URLs as well. Uh, you already added your profile picture when you started, and you can even add a cover image, right? Okay. Now, mm -hmm. how will the cover image help you? You basically go to your profile here. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to see that there is this cover image here, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of this is all about trying to make sure that you beautify your page. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now we go back. We'll go back to. The see, I'm not. Uh, excuse me. I'm not able to see your sharing. It's Sorry. blank on the. I'm not able to see your sharing page. Really? I'm yeah, able yeah. to see that. So. <laughs> because it got cut and rejoined. No, that is the reason. Vikram, could you kindly stop sharing and perhaps restart sharing? Yeah, sure. I'm going to stop presenting. I'm going to restart now. Yes. Yeah. Ideally, ideally, you should be able to see it. Yeah, now, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, okay. All right. So, what I did, uh, Charles, was to go to the dashboard section. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And in the dashboard section, you you remember you uploaded your profile picture earlier. Yeah, you can you can add your cover image here. Um, and when you go to your profile, this is what your profile looks like. You can add your cover image here as well, right? I mean, oh, the okay. cover image that you add in the dashboard basically appears here. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. So this is the cover image. You add it from here, and it appears on your profile. Yeah. Yeah. So now on the dashboard, you can do a bunch of other things. You can set up your memberships, right? Now, what this means is pretty simple. You can actually sell subscriptions on the platform, right? So if you have a very basic membership to sell, you could price it at hundred rupees if you want, and the final price shown to the customer will be hundred and four, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. And you can very clearly say here that for uh, this membership, I will give you early access. To my guitar clips, mm. right? You could do this very simply, right? You could create a tier and click on create a tier. I'll actually come to this part a little later, but this is just to quickly show you what it means. You okay. can create up to four different okay. tiers of memberships. You have something called bronze, you have something called silver, gold, and platinum. What is very very obvious and what is, needs to be taken into account is the fact that. Each of these offer you different levels of access to subscribers, right? So the higher people go up uh, in terms of becoming members of your higher tiers, they get yeah. uh, better benefits. They get more benefits, right? And the idea is to price every tier increasingly than the previous tier. Yeah. So if I am pricing the bronze tier at 100, 104, right? I should be pricing my silver tier at more than 104. And making sure that the benefits of my silver tier are a little more than the bronze tier, right? And okay. similarly with the gold, a little more than the silver and the bronze, and uh, the platinum will be a lot more than the gold, silver, and the bronze. I'll come to this a little later anyway. Um, and then when you come to your configurations, you can actually enable an RSS feed here if you want, right? You can also enable uh, donations on this uh, screen as well. Uh, Arvind, you want to talk about RSS feed? So RSS feeds are a technology that is used by many different places. Uh, it could be other websites, it could be other feed readers, it could be used for podcasts. And uh, it is usually used for people who have, used by people who have a more technical bent. What that means is every time you generate or create a new post, depending upon the, 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 the level at which you're releasing those posts, they will be automatically populated into the RSS feed. Now, okay. the recipient software, which could be, let's say, a client like, um, say, Mozilla Thunderbird, right? Mm -hmm. Or the old uh, Google Feed Burner, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or, or Feedly as a service. And many of these, uh, they are very, very popular when it comes to people consuming content. And if you have such a feed, now let's uh, you could even use it for submitting your content to, let's say, iTunes or mm -hmm. podcasts, Apple Podcasts, right? Or Google Podcasts. So okay. RSS feeds are a technical construction, which are quite often used to inform other services that, hey, there is something new in your feed. 
right? Okay. Yeah. Um, it usually requires the support of a technically oriented person, okay. like known as a developer, to mm -hmm. make use of effectively. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Cool. Awesome. So this is where you can actually enable it if you so plan to use RSS feeds. Uh, there is also something called donations that you can use. Right now, donations mm -hmm. are uh, you know just uh, normal uh, money that people would want to give you because they love what you're doing. They'll just come and donate money to you. Right now, the oh. way they do it is by actually clicking on the donate button. You don't even have to uh, showcase content or anything. Mm -hmm. Vikram, you're on mute. I think it probably yeah. has something to do with your headphones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, yeah, we yeah. can. Okay. Yeah, all right. So the donations, basically, I, I will again go through that a little later. For now, I've disabled it. Here, there is something called a course manager where you can manage all of your courses. I will tell you how that works as well. And in the earnings section, you will even know who has actually paid you, right? Now mm -hmm. this payment comes to Gixi's uh, bank account and we cut a 5% commission and then we forward the rest of the payment to you. Yeah. In the goals section, this is something new. You can actually start creating goals. Now you basically get your subscribers excited, right? And to look forward to what you'll be actually doing next. Um, the idea is to tell them, hey, uh, if I get 100 subscribers, I'll probably put out new content, right? Or mm -hmm. here, when you look at this uh, example goal, when I reach 10 followers, I'll start creating daily ritual videos. It could be anything. Uh, so you could add goals here at a later point in time as well. Yeah. So okay. I will basically go back now and I will continue showing how configure subscriptions work. And then after that, we can go to the remaining stuff. Arvind, anything you want to point out in the meantime? No, I think uh, you're pretty much on track. Great. So now I'm going to go to configure subscriptions. Here I'm going to add a tier, right? I'm going to make this. 100 rupees, and I'm going to say early access to all of my guitar clips. And I've created a tier, right? You'll see that the bronze tier is added. If you're done with changes, please click the submit for review button, right? Okay. These okay. changes will be visible only after we complete review and approve changes because we don't want people to randomly add uh, stuff here, right? And content here. We want to make sure it is spam free. Yeah. Okay. Now, I could even add a silver tier. I could probably, uh, you know, price it at 200 bucks and I could say, uh, you know, uh, I will give you exclusive content not available anywhere else, right? On the internet. Yeah. And I could create a tier, right? Now I have a bronze and I have a silver tier. Now I can even do a gold and a platinum. And at the gold level, I could price it at 400 bucks and I could say, uh, twice in a month live teaching sessions of guitar group classes right so i could do that and now i have three different tiers as you can notice all of them are in the building state i could even add a platinum tier and i could price it at 500 and i could say uh, you know one-on-one -on -one, uh, lessons for uh, interested students for 30 minutes once in a month right so now i have actually created four different subscriptions right now i will need to obviously submit these for review otherwise they're not going to be reflected on my uh, profile page so i will submit them for review right away Yeah, so now you saw that message saying that your profile is for review. So when you uh, see this, you'll see that your page status is pending, pending. right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, when I go back here, I get uh, I will get an email, uh, you know, on my admin dashboard to actually say, hey, you know what? Uh, somebody has actually updated the profile. Time to go and approve them, right? So I'm going to quickly approve them through the admin dashboard. Uh, I don't have to show that to you because it's... Uh, not really useful for you folks because we manage the admin dashboard. So I'm going to quickly okay. approve this profile. So uh, how long will it take for approval? Because my uh, no, uh, the upload is not yet been approved. Still showing pending only. It's been more uh, than it, a week. It should take uh, pretty quickly to actually approve. If you have not, if you've not been approved, then there is something wrong with the system. So we'll make sure that we approve it immediately because oh. approval happens within the same day. I'll look at it right now as well if I can. Yeah. 
yeah mm-hmm. yeah so now if i refresh the page uh, since i've approved it uh, everything should be approved and i see that my page status is active. active and i would have also gotten an email saying that everything is now active on my page right so now at this point in time i can actually create posts right so when i create mm-hmm. a post i could create it against any of my tiers you remember we configured subscriptions at bronze yeah. silver gold and platinum levels right so i could go ahead and configure any of my subscriptions at any level basically right? i mean put out posts at any level right so i have the option to even put out free posts i even have the option to put out paid posts like the bronze mm-hmm. silver gold and platinum tiers right so let me add something in the bronze tier i could say early access to my first guitar clip and i can add an mp3 file i can add a gixi exclusive video i can add uh, even a pdf if i want i can even add a youtube link i can add whatever i want right mm-hmm. now the good thing here is that you have something called a preview image right it's very important to upload a preview image because this actually tells your subscribers what the post inside will look like or what will it actually have now if you do not uh, you know uh, put a preview image it ends up looking something like this right and that is not very good it doesn't look very enticing you don't even know what it what is there inside yeah right. so what you need to definitely do is to make sure that you need to add a preview image so i can add a preview image here um i can go down and say you know add my picture so that becomes my preview image i can add a description as well and i can say inside this post you get access to my first early access clip right and then i save it now then i can upload whatever i want now if i have an mp3 file i can upload that i don't have any mp3s on my system right now so i can probably upload a gixi exclusive video uh let me upload one of these i will upload a screencast video here and it will show you that the video is actually uploading on top yeah and now it's actually done you scroll down to see your attachments it is here now yeah mm-hmm. so for any gixi exclusive video you can even add a preview video yeah so what happens is it takes the first 20 seconds by default of the video and makes it the preview of the post very simply put but now since i've already added a preview image i don't need this preview video so i can decide whether i need the preview video or the preview image in case you've added both the precedence goes to the preview video and only the preview video will be shown yeah no so now i can click on post and you can see that it is posted this will soon be available for viewing because our video server then encodes all of the videos that are uh, you know uh, being uploaded and over a period of time it will actually show the video immediately now the question will obviously be hey how do other people see this post right so you are seeing this post like this then you can app absolutely share it with anybody when you click on share you will get this link and you can share it with anybody right now i will quickly show you what this post actually look like when i have not logged in yeah so when you share this post this is what it looks like okay. right mm-hmm. so it says early access to my first guitar clip it has the picture and then it has inside this post you get access to my first early access guitar clip and then people can pay to actually access this post i want to add something here vikram yeah. so um, for whoever is watching this video right charles and everybody else this is your opportunity to do a little bit of um, sales so to speak of your actual feed itself right from the title that you choose to the image that you do put out to the text that you write below right all of this needs to be conducive to kind of uh, nudge the person who is viewing this particular thing in their feed to go ahead and make that purchase now some good practices would be to in the preview image you actually uh, not necessarily just use your photo alone 
if you want you could but i would recommend that you share some sort of content some sort of imagery which you can create using canva something that we have covered in an earlier gcc video and it's available through the resources section as well as on our youtube channel to create some sort of content that would entice the user to actually go ahead and buy Apart from the image, you want to use the description that comes in below the photograph. Vikram, can you kindly scroll down, please? A little bit more. Yeah. So the highlighted stuff, which was just there inside this post, blah, blah, blah. You can use that to, you know, perhaps use some bullet points to talk, you know, to highlight what is it that you wish to talk about, what is available for the person inside. And essentially, you want to do a little bit of sales uh, using this as well. Don't forget, uh, you don't have to restrict this content to just Gixi. When you scroll down and you click on the share button, right a number of different options pop up as well right so you can uh, as you can see on screen you can share this onto facebook twitter linkedin or whatsapp if you just want to send the link you can just highlight that and copy that as well personally i found a lot of success in uh, taking these sort of uh, uh, you know posts that i do create and uh, putting them up on WhatsApp statuses. That's that's been helpful. It's also been helpful when I email them to my friends. And in relevant cases, posting them in the right Facebook groups or tagging them with the right tags on Twitter. Back to you, Vikram. All right, thank you. So now I will get back uh, to the initial uh, portion. So you can see that this is what it looks like for me. And this is what it would look like for your subscribers, for my yeah. subscribers. Right. So it looks very different because you've added the preview image, you've added the description. And when they actually access the uh, post and they pay for the post, they end up seeing this right once the video is actually available. Yeah. And then they can comment on it. They can write all sorts of stuff. And now since I've logged out, I will have to quickly log back in again. So let me uh, in fact, one of the things that I did not do was to actually activate my email. Right. Um, that is something that we will need to do. So when you look at uh, joining Geeksy, there is an activate email uh, message that you end up getting. So it's better to actually activate it. Otherwise, you'll have to do this. You'll have to forget, you know, click on forgot password and then finally uh, change uh, the password and get, uh, you know, get a different password and go from there. So while I wait, uh, Charles, any question until this point? Uh, no, no, not at all. Yeah, is it clear? Easy to yeah, use so clear. far? Yeah, it's clear. Yeah, I've done. Yeah. I've already uploaded a couple of courses, but I missed out some of the you know the advantages. Now I have to yeah. do it again. I have to go back and edit. Got it. Got it. Which ones did you not do, uh, Charles? Yeah, this one. What you have mentioned? This slide only. Oh, the preview thing. Yeah, preview. Correct. Okay. Got it. Got it. One second, just quickly resetting my password. Right, now that I've reset my password, I can get back uh, and I can go back here. Yeah? Cool. So I'm back here. Now I go back uh, to the home page and this is where I can create a bunch of other posts, right? So now I can actually add a bunch of other things. I can look at adding a video course, a digital product, an event, or even a physical product for that matter. Until now, I had created, uh, I had tried to create posts across the bronze, silver, gold, and platinum tier. Uh, just to give you a bit of an idea here, you can even, uh, you know, put out a meeting invite if you want, right? So let's say if you're doing an online uh, meeting invite or an online event, where you're teaching people online, you can put uh, the meeting link here within the post. And within the post, only when people actually pay for it, will they be able to see the link. That way, you know for a fact that uh, nobody comes until uh, you know you get onto the, uh, nobody sees the link until you actually get onto uh, uh, paying for the post itself. Yeah. So that is how you can actually put up meeting invites as well. All right. Now I can adding a digital product is also pretty simple. 
uh, it's the same interface so nothing changes the only thing is you get to price your digital product the way you want it right and you type your title and you type whatever you want you upload whatever you want you can add so what do you mean by digital product on sec what do you mean by digital product any digital product could be a single mp3 file could be a single video could oh, be a couple of videos okay, okay. yeah mm -hmm. it could be anything anything which is digital in nature right is that clear yeah yeah so now one of the other things that i can do here interestingly is to create a video course yeah mm -hmm. so when i go to create a video course uh, you get a nice little interface here where you can actually start creating a video course from scratch right yeah, yeah. i have done this yeah yeah so when you create a course you can go to add your name you can, this time i'm joe hardy and i could say guitar lessons for college kids and i could add a profile image if i want i'll choose not to right now then when i go to course details i can say uh, you know title of the course would be uh, you know guitar lessons for college kids i could price this at 1000 rupees and i could say uh this is a very nice way to learn the guitar if you are in college right and i can add a preview image as well so that people can see the preview image um i am going to add a general preview image for now yeah so i think mr yogesh one just joined did he I believe he's trying to join, but he hasn't joined yet. Okay. He's just come in. Yeah. 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 So what we have done is we have just added a preview image to the course right now. Yeah. Uh, Charles, okay. have you done this before? Yeah, I've done this. I already uploaded a couple of courses. I told you, you no. Know? So yeah, one is yeah. got so, approved. One is got pending. You got it. So. there is no approval for courses by the way so we will have to check what you added maybe you added digital products you probably didn't come through the course or did you actually come to the course aha uh -huh. no no i added only video course only did you come to this interface did you see this interface when you added your video course uh no yeah so you must have added a digital product right you didn't add a video course then aha uh -huh. okay okay yeah so you've added a digital product you didn't actually add a video course so here you can see that the introduction title can be edited you can say this is your first title title number 1 that talks about uh, guitar basics and under guitar basics you can save this first and you can, then you can add a subtitle you can say tuning the guitar could be my first subtitle right okay save it and then you can see that it is actually saved and then you can describe it textually if you want you can describe the subsection mm -hmm. and you can say this subsection helps you understand how to tune the guitar all right okay now after this you can actually add a video right you can add a video uh, an attachment or whatever it is that you want to do to make sure that people understand uh, that this subsection has some content right so you could add a youtube video also you could add a gixi exclusive video you could add anything that you want right mm -hmm. uh then you could add a second subsection you could say this second subsection basically is uh since i finished tuning the guitar i could say uh understanding how to uh hold notes right so that would be the next thing that i end up doing and again i can describe the section uh with some description and i can add whatever content i want now what i've done is i've created a single title i've created a bunch of subsections underneath that title right and i can add whatever videos or images or pdfs i want to each of these subsections right and then now i can actually click on preview course to see how it looks like to my end users right so if i click on preview course this is what it would look like to people who actually buy the course right yeah. so if i i can actually collapse and expand this right so i can say during the guitar i can click on this i can see understanding uh, how to hold notes now since there is no content here yet it says nothing here yet we believe that something might come up soon right so you can see that the subsection also is described it says helps you understand how to tune the guitar and understanding how to hold notes it says there is some description right so this is what your course would look like so far so good 
Arvind, any questions yeah. so far for you? I am um, absolutely fine with whatever's going on. I was just thinking that after this, uh, we can also, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll personally, I'll help out Mr. Charles as well. Yeah. I'll uh, speak to him and I'll walk him through the process. Great. Charles, we'll, so, we'll yeah. catch up offline and okay. you know, yeah. I can help you with some troubleshooting as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now, uh, as you can see, when you click on preview course, it's important to read what is in front of your screen, right? The preview course has been opened on a new tab. So every time you click on preview course, don't look for it here. It would have been opened on a newer tab on your browser, right? Okay. Now you need to check that new tab, which we already showed, right? To see how uh, it looks. So this is what the new tab looks like. And once you take a look at the new tab and you're all okay with it, then uh, you can go ahead and click on create course. Yeah. Once the course is created, you'll be redirected to your course management screen where you can publish your course. So now I'm actually going to create create my course. Yeah. So okay. your course is now created. It says you want to publish your course. Now you can always publish the course later from my course manager. Right. But I want to publish my course now. So I'll just click on yes. And when I click on yes, it, you go to the course manager, you'll be able to see the latest course that I have put out. Yeah. It mm -hmm. talks about when it was created, when it was last updated. Right. And there is an unpublished button. If you want to unpublish the course and not let people access it, you can do so. Uh, if you want to update the course, you can click on update course and do so as well. You can keep adding content to this, the okay. same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that way you can even change the price if you want. So you can make the price uh, cheap to start with. And as, as and when you add more and more content for your early adopters, you can give them at a cheaper price. And then if you want to add more content, you can raise the price so that people who come in late, they get it for a a uh, higher price right okay. yeah. so you can do all of these things that is how a course typically works right now i'm leaving the course composer and i am uh, it says your work will only get saved on clicking create course or update course are you sure you want to leave right okay. so if you don't want to leave you click on no you go to curriculum you just make sure everything is already saved for me all of these are saved because there is no other change i've done and therefore, I'll just click on update course and I'll click on yes because I want to publish it. And then it goes to my course manager. Yeah. Okay. So now I click on the Gixi home icon and I'm back to the home page. And you can see that this thing has come up on the feed. Right. Now, there's this very interesting thing you can actually do. You can actually share the post. If you share the link of the post, it looks very, very cool. I'll show you how it looks. This is how your course would look to an outsider. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So your course would look exactly like this and they would click on buy now and then they would get access to the course. I have shared another uh, example of a more fleshed out course in the yeah. chat box as well. In case yeah. someone to take a look at it. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is basically the course section. Uh, so you would have added a digital product, Charles, here. Oh, you would have okay. probably added one digital product. You wouldn't have added a video course. Video course. Okay. Yeah. So if you need to add a video course, you'll need to explicitly go there and add it, like I just showed you. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the event section, uh, if you want to add an event, you can actually limit the number of people who want to come to your event, right? So if you do not have the capacity to have more than 100 people uh, coming to the event, you can say limit the number of units to 100, and you can even limit the number of units that a single ID can buy. Right? And then you can give the price, you can say it's 200, you can say this is my live show where I interact only with people who have purchased. Right? And you can put the link inside, it could be meet.google.com forward slash whatever. Right? Mm -hmm. And only people who buy this post will be able to access this link. Otherwise, they won't be able to see the link. Okay. okay. It's this good to event have... is something like a one to one live classes, right? Yeah, it could be live, it could be uh, recorded maybe later and available for them later. But I would I would recommend that you do this live because this is an event post, right? Yeah. So yeah. we are doing this as an event. So it's better that you do it live. Okay. 
right and as usual you can share the link of the post on facebook whatsapp instagram anywhere else okay perfect right this is basically how it works uh so that is an event and the same uh you know fundamentals go down for the physical product as well because physical products are also based on units uh, that you want to be selling uh and at any point in time if you want to delete this from the feed you can delete it uh you can even go to your uh dashboard and uh, look at all the stuff that you've already done uh, i'm using a different id right now so uh you can see what has happened here i've created four different tiers right uh um, i have my course manager here i have my earnings here so I, i can see who actually has paid me over a period of time all of these things are available for me right yeah all right and then if you want to actually see how to make your business happen a lot more smoothly you click on resources uh, it takes you to our blog Uh, and on our blog we have a ton of resources for you to actually look at all of this is available for only creators on the platform right so please do take a look at these things because these things are extremely important they are created with a lot of love they are created with a lot of affection for you guys to actually further your business so there are two things that we need to do as creators right when uh, we want to pursue our own passion one is we need to be able to put the effort to actually make our business work for us if we don't put in the effort we cannot miraculously expect people to pay us and buy our content second we need to be able to use a platform like gc which is available for us to use freely so that we can further our business a lot better we cannot put in uh, we cannot not put in hard work and expect people to pay us that never usually works so we need to be able to put in that hard work market ourselves a little better talk about our content talk about our gc profile and make sure that people come in here and actually buy our product right so yeah. basically gives you the uh, gc gives you the ability to run your business out of a box and you don't have to do any of the technical stuff it's all available for you in one single shot correct right? yeah so uh, this is better than even creating a website and actually integrating a payment gateway uh, the moment you are in you already have access to everything on the platform right yeah so you know you can actually see notifications as well right so if there are people who are coming and adding comments to your posts you can actually see them and you can click on them and actually check out their uh, comments as well right and you can check out their comments here and you'll be able to see what they've actually said right so yeah. all of this stuff is already available okay yeah and if you want to explore other creators you can explore other creators too you can search for them they're all here you can see what they're doing click on them and figure out what they're up to so all of these are already available for you yeah okay All right then. So, Arvind, I am basically more or less done. Uh, unless you have any other points to. No, come. I just have a couple of announcements to add. One is that uh, for anybody who's watching this in the future, and as well as for Charles and Yogesh Kuren who are there with us right now, uh, we do have some improvements uh, to the user experience in the works. What that means is we're going to be changing the look and feel of things a little bit. We're going to make them look more pleasing to the eye, of course. Uh, you know, there's always room for improvement there. But another thing I'm very excited about is that there is a guided tour that will be coming up as well. So although we won't have uh, Vikram Patan, his beautiful face and his lovely voice, taking us through the whole thing, we will have some text that will, you know, exactly tell you where to click to, to get what sort of. Uh, you know results that you want from the platform so that's coming up apart from that we're also hoping to launch a checklist of things that you must complete for maximum mileage out of gixi and we're hoping that uh, they'll be going live before the end of the month and uh, with that i'm i'm you know I'm, i'm very very confident that for anybody who's coming on to gixi whether you're watching it now or at some time in the future you will have something that's uh, well almost like hand holding and you know uh, if you have any ideas any questions uh, like for example i think uh, it was last week or the week before when mr yogeshwaran actually had this idea of a a trailer you know of of all uh, gixi creators as well so that's also something that you now we've added to the road map and all of these things are going to be coming again and uh, well thank you for your support <laughs> back to you vikram mr yogeshwaran you're on mute you're still on mute you need to unmute yourself
Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Yeah. Uh, kind of walk through was I what I meant actually. A complete walk through of the entire tour. New theater perspective. Charles had so many doubts. I was also the same uh, scenario a couple of months back, maybe last month. But lots, lots of doubts. Always testing different things. All my silly doubts. It was helpful and grateful. Thank you so much for for that. But still, every creator has to have a pleasant walk through how they actually come into what they have to do, where to go, what to do, and how everything can be like a small walkthrough for them mm-hmm. in a small nutshell, which, which should be more impressive because once they click an audio insert, I, I think network problem. Yes. It's unfortunately one thing that uh, you know plagues most of us here. <laughs> Depending on that. But okay, see, uh, I've done, yeah, see I've done I mean uploaded my video course, but I've not went through the correct uh, no, proper way. The way you know the Vikram has uh, so far guided. So that is the one thing now Blender has made it. But still worry. it's already been uploaded, then it's there. What code is uploaded, it's published, and one is still it's painting. Okay, the way I went through to upload it's wrong. That's the only thing. So again, right. I have to put it. Well, I hope that this helped. If you need any help, you can always reach out to us through okay. the WhatsApp group. Right? Sure. I'm hoping uh, you would have joined as well. Yeah. Uh, Vikram, is there anything else that you wish to share today? Uh, nothing else. What I'll do is I'll stop recording first because I think we're done with the session in terms yes. of at least showing everybody uh, how the platform works. So I'm going to stop recording right away. Thank you for coming and, uh, you know, hope this video helps you and uh, just wait for the new user interface. It will blow your mind.